I remember going, I mean, so I was going to go back to Japan to visit my parents, because they were still there. And so I went back, it was 1974 maybe, and um, I ended up staying there like five years in Japan, and that's when I became an apprentice. And that time was um, pretty profound. It was, um, you know, we, me and the other apprentice, we worked in the studio helping them with everything throughout the day, you know, and it was just like collecting the wood or um, gathering the bark for the um, burning for wood ash to make glazes and um, we weren't making pots or anything like that, you know, cleaning out the rags and so in the evening um, the other apprentice and I would go into the studio and he, um, the, tea, the master, he put this little sake cup in front of us and said, make this. And that's the only instruction he gave the whole year. And he, you know, we just made those sake cups over and over and over, like thousands of them, never firing them. It was just really a, um, a meditation. You know, it became, I mean, I didn't know this at the time, and I kind of left after that year with like an emotional breakdown. But that year was, um, you know, in retrospect, I can see the, you know, the amazing lesson that I learned with like, it's about being present with the clay, like not what you're thinking or, you know, not don't make this, you know, it's not about what you're making. It's like how you're making and how you're present with the clay. And um, it's kind of developing an intuitive connection to, you know, with your body and your heart and your hand to the clay.